and we're going to imagine what's going through the mind of Josh Alexander. He came out here tonight. He wanted Bully Ray. We heard the offer that he made to Bully Ray that Bully Ray declined. Now, he's a man of his word. That's who Josh Alexander has always been. It's an open challenge for the Impact World title. How in the world does Alexander pivot from Bully Ray now to Bailey? Well, I mean, Josh Alexander is one of the best professional wrestlers on the planet for a reason. It is that ability to pivot. And yes, Josh Alexander is a man of his word. He's an honorable competitor. Nobody can ever take that away from him. But I have to question if this is a smart idea considering the mental state of the champion. We know, I mean, it's only been a few weeks since Overdrive, that horrible, horrible event involving his own family, his own wife. And, and where is the head of Josh Alexander? It's not here for a good old throwdown wrestling match, I don't think. It's still focused oh. on Bully Ray. Collision there. Josh Alexander telling Bailey to bring it. And these two are meeting each other. You can see Alexander favoring the left shoulder. That was something that was targeted at Overdrive in the Impact World title match between Frankie Kazarian and Josh Alexander. Granted, that was three weeks ago, but it was said even by Bully Ray that Alexander was taking time away for the, quote, trauma that he endured, the emotional trauma, obviously, but physically, there might be some things lingering for Alexander. Oh, absolutely no doubt that there is. And to take on not just any competitor either, Speedmo Mike Bailey, who went on one of the most intense runs as X Division champion this past year, having some of the best matches in Impact Wrestling all year long. This is gonna be no small hill for the walking weapon to climb in defending his championship. Oh, Alexander gonna enjoy the size and power advantage here for Bailey so quick. So nimble, a very gifted striker as well. Oh, but he writes in the midsection, and you can see the emotion that is being harbored right now in Josh Alexander. He is fighting, thinking about his family. He's thinking about Bully Ray every time he lays into Mike Bailey. Which, look, hatred, anger is a hell of a motivator, and it can turn that intensity up, but it is also very distracting and that distracted is not something you want to be when you're in the ring with someone like Speedball Mike Bailey. Elbow right to the back of the neck. Alexander trying to focus, put out an open challenge for the Impact World Championship. That was answered by Speedball. Look, Tom, I, I don't want to dig up ancient history here, but need I, you know, tell you, or remind you, should I say, oh. about earlier this year, the emotional state of Josh Alexander with Moose and everything yes. involved in that situation, letting his emotions get the better of him. Will we see history repeat itself here tonight in the Impact Zone? And look at all these kicks here from Bailey, and down goes Alexander to the outside of the ring. Title can only change hands via pinfall or submission in the Whoa. ring. Bailey over the top and drops the world champion. The Impact World title is on the line. Bailey versus an emotional Josh Alexander. This match continues. I want to thank you for joining us here for our continued coverage of this matchup. Matt Raywalt, this is pretty surprising that we're even seeing the Impact World Championship defended here on Access TV, thus our continuing coverage here on Impact Wrestling's social and digital platforms. I mean, we weren't even necessarily expecting to see a match out of Josh Alexander tonight. We knew he was in the building, oh. but got permission to issue this open challenge from Impact Management, thinking, oh, oh, he would get an early shot at Bully Ray. Instead, it was Speedball Mike Bailey. And this, I mean, a, a, a pleasant surprise to be sure, but definitely unexpected. I'm being told we are going to stay with this matchup during the commercial breaks and bring you this extended coverage on Impact Wrestling's social and digital media Whoa. platforms. There's a cover for the title and a kick out. As I mentioned uh, moments ago, the title cannot change hands via count out or disqualification. It must change hands via pinfall or submission in the ring. Well, these two have worked their way oh. back into the ring. And this one could end at any moment here. We know how good Mike Bailey is, especially when he can get an advantage working on that arm that we, like we said, had been worked on back at Overdrive just a few oh. weeks ago. 
Now, Frankie Kazarian was targeting that shoulder to set up for his patented submission, the chicken wing. And now it's Mike Bailey trying to capitalize on the damage from three Ooh. weeks ago and targets the left shoulder. And there's that striking ability as well coming out of speedball. Now Bailey trying to get the champion back up to his feet here. Chance of speed bomb in Louisville. Snap suplex there by Bailey. Now into the cover. Shoulders down here and a kick out at two. Uh, and a really small thing there. The way Mike Bailey put both hands pressing onto that left shoulder, making it even hard to put that, that bruised up, that worked on shoulder, Josh Alexander, forcing him to kick out with that one. Alexander diving for the ankle. Oh, now knees right to the ribs. Alexander trying to control Bailey, and the Impact World Champion kicks out. This time the knees pressing into the chest and shoulder speed ball here in firm control of the walking weapon. Now Bailey, not his usual ambush. That pedal to the metal sort of speed that we see from him taking his time here. It's he, he knows the opponent he's in there with. He knows that's not gonna work. This isn't an X Division match, if you will. Even though we know Josh Alexander's history in the X Division, this is a different situation. Goddard to win the title kick out by Alexander. Not only that, it is the Impact World Championship on the line. You've got to, this is gonna be more of a chess match than anything. Pick your moves very, very carefully, especially when your opponent is the caliber of the walking weapon. Now Bailey trying to control the world champion. He's got the walking weapon down on the mat right now. He's got to utilize this valuable time. Now look at this fighting up from the underneath and a kick to the leg there. Perhaps Alexander trying to use the same strategy as the late legend Antonio Inoki there. Now gets back up to his feet, knee to the ribs. Strike wherever you can, but right now, dropping the hips there is Josh Alexander not letting Speedball get the leverage he needed for that slam. Looking for the suplex here, but look at the power of Alexander. And just stalling their blood, rushing to the head of Speedball. Good recovery here from Josh Alexander. Stalling suplex here by Josh Alexander, sinking some life into his legs here as all the blood is rushing to the head of Mike Bailey. This Impact World title match will continue on Access TV. And we are back here at Impact Wrestling on Access TV. The Impact World title is on the line. Speedball Mike Bailey against the Ooh. champion Josh Alexander. Knees to the midsection to win the title and a kick out by Alexander. And this one is delivering on every level, Tom. I mean, I mean, during the break, Josh Alexander had speedball Mike Bailey up in a vertical suplex for 30, 40 seconds. I mean, these guys are putting in the effort and leaving nothing at the door. Yeah, considering the gravity of this matchup, Executive Vice President Scott Demore pulling out all the stops to cover this Impact World Championship match. Down goes Bailey. Alexander desperately needed that opening, Ray Walt, here, because through the break, it was all Bailey. Absolutely, Bailey in firm control. But then it was Josh Alexander who came out of that with that beautiful vertical stalling suplex. And now the walking weapon back in control. You see, dropping the knee pad there giving a little extra uh, damage to the back, to the spine of Mike Bailey. Ah. Oh, Mike Bailey tied up here, center of the ring. The new year is coming quickly, and Access TV has you covered with an all-day New Year's concert extravaganza. Tune in on New Year's Eve to watch all of our best concerts, including Def Leppard, Kid Rock, Kiss, and Motley Crue. It all begins New Year's Eve at noon Eastern here on Access TV. Mike Bailey here managing to get up to his feet. Oh! oh. And Josh Alexander seemingly just 
instead of targeting one body part like Bailey was earlier, is targeting every body part. Stretching the arms and shoulders, the spine oh. of Mike Bailey, now the knees, the legs, breaking him apart from every single ah. angle. Well, that's the thing about Mike Bailey. You and I have called plenty of his matchups. Even if you take away one body part, and my mind goes back to his matchup with Trey Miguel surrounding the X Division Championship. Even if you take away one leg, he's very adept at fighting off of one leg, fighting with one arm even. He, Bailey can do so much. That's right, he's a threat. He, you know, hey, no pun intended here. Actually, yes, it was. Oh. Bailey's a walking weapon in and of himself. Backbreaker to retain the title and a kick out, a bridge out there by Bailey. All the martial arts background of Bailey allowing him to be a weapon with any single digit joint, any part of his body. But we also know the ferocity, the tenacity of the walking weapon and seeing it in full display here. And remember how this began. Initially, it was Josh Alexander issuing an open challenge for his Impact World Championship, hoping, aiming to have Bully Ray take the challenge. And Alexander even said here in the Impact Zone, Bully Ray can have his title shot here tonight. There's nothing to lose. He would still get his call your shot opportunity at the hard to kill pay-per-view. I mean, I, I couldn't believe that. Surely. When I saw Josh Alexander Red, I heard him calling out Bully Ray. I figured he would ask for that shot to be oh. here tonight. I can't believe that Bully Ray passed up a golden oh. opportunity like that. Single leg drop kick there by Mike Bailey. Instead, it was Speedball who accepted the open challenge. Bully Ray passing on this is going to take his title shot, his call your shot opportunity when he has called for it. That will be on Friday the 13th of January, the fourth annual Hard to Kill pay-per-view live as well on Fight TV. And Saturday, January 14th Ooh. will be all the fallout from Hard to Kill. Tickets are on sale now for both those events in Atlanta, Georgia at ImpactWrestling.com. And Tom, I don't want to get ahead of myself and over speculate here as Speedball looks to take off. Oh! Cover! Do we have a new world champion and a kick out? But I suppose, in theory, should Speedball Mike Bailey walk out of this matchup as world champion, I, I, I would assume Bully Ray would face Mike Bailey at Hard to Kill. I think you would be right, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Right. This matchup. Yeah, absolutely. This matchup still has to take place. Bailey versus Alexander for the Impact World title. Oh, my front big kick to the head. That could have been catastrophic. Oh. And a German suplex. And we're brought right back to what Kazarian withstood from Alexander in overdrive. Uh, and Bailey, he remembers that as well, holding onto the ropes here. Whoa, uh -oh. oh my God. Oh. The intensity of Alexander, cover to retain, and a kick out trapping the arms off the German. Mike Bailey, nothing to protect himself there. All shoulders, head, neck, and still able to kick out and stay in this world title matchup. Josh Alexander is so emotional, so intense. The tenacity is pouring out of the Impact World Champion tonight. There's a little extra aggression from him, Raywall, considering how Bully Ray's in his head. Very, very much, and, and luckily for Josh Alexander, he's been able to, to focus that on Speedball Mike Bailey, not get too distracted in this uh -oh. contest. Uh-oh, go for the C4 spike, maybe. Whoa. Bailey, <laughs> Bailey able to find a way oh. out. Oh, the ankle lock. Great turnaround from Josh Alexander and looking immediately to go to another German suplex. Ooh, the damage left shoulder of Alexander. Oh! Great turnaround from Speedball there. Oh. Again, targeting that shoulder, that arm. That makes the ankle lock and C4 oh. spike a lot harder, but Alexander ever defiant. Just to the side of the face, up on the shoulders, and again, Bailey goes out to the left shoulder. It's Absolutely. almost a version of the octopus, Ray Walt. But bringing Josh Alexander all the way down to the ground here, now doubled over, harder to breathe as well, in addition to the pain on the arm. Ooh. Oh! The neck of Bailey rammed into the top turnbuckle. Alexander still can't get Speedball off his back, no. off his shoulder. Bailey, look at it, oh. cranking down on the arm and the elbow, trying to take that weapon away from the walking weapon. 
uh, imagine if the lingering injury from the overdrive matchup against Kazarian ultimately cost Josh Alexander his Impact World title in an open challenge oh, match. Just fully exasperated. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh. the reverse Rana. Devastating to that previously surgically repaired neck of Josh Alexander. Cover, cover to win the title. Oh. Kick out. The Impact World Championship is on the line. Alexander's defense against Bailey continues. Our coverage continues of what has already been a fantastic match between Mike Bailey and Josh Alexander for the Impact World Championship and Ray Watt were moments removed from that poison Rana of Bailey moments ago. And you know, it was earlier I was talking about Josh Alexander breaking part, excuse me, breaking down every part of Mike Bailey, arms, legs, back, whatever. But now it is Bailey who was laser focused on that arm, now turning his attention to the neck, the weakened neck of Josh Alexander. This, this is just a knockdown, drag out fight between two championship level competitors. Forearm smashes there by Bailey to Alexander against the ropes. A champion down. And a great opportunity once again for Speedball. And look at Speedball here. Oh. Wanting to look Josh Alexander in the eye almost as he takes the fight to the champ. Ooh. Oh, oh and, and, and you could see Alexander try to block there with his left arm, but in the process, the contact went into that damaged left shoulder. Either, either way that went, that was good for Mike Bailey. Either you, you, you smack the guy in the face or you hit that injured arm. That was pure instinct from Josh Alexander, clearly. Look at Bailey, just stalking Alexander. And, and we find ourselves, again, in a familiar situation. Just like earlier on in this matchup, oh, Josh Alexander fighting from the ground, trying to fend off Mike Bailey. And can you hear the, the gasping? from Josh Alexander, those knees right to the ribs there moments ago. And now look at Bailey isolating the left arm and a knee to the elbow. And I mean, ooh, oh. you have to wonder, oh. oh! Wait a minute, wait a minute! And look at this, the way Josh Alexander trying to tie up the leg of Mike Bailey oh. with his own legs, avoiding the use of his left arm there, which is in agony right now. Alexander was trying to wriggle free. And now it's speedball Mike Bailey. I talked about it early on in this matchup, the aggression of Alexander, obviously for emotional reasons, brought on by Bully Ray. Now speedball starting to get a little bit, a little bit nastier in this match. Hey, he knows what's oh. on the line. And as that arm and the rest of Josh Alexander gets more and more broken down, championship gold gets closer oh. and closer to his grasp. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Tied up both arms, tied up both arms. And Josh Alexander in the center of the ring, no arms to help him crawl to the ropes. The damage done to that left shoulder already intense. Alexander has got his right arm free, is trying to get to the ropes here. No, oh, no, and a cross arm bar. And again, Alexander using his legs to try to counteract everything from Bailey here. Well, cover, shoulders down. Bailey's got to be careful here. Managing to pivot to one shoulder. The strength of Alexander, though. Ooh. Oh, oh, my God. Bailey looked like he had Alexander in a triangle there. And the pure, raw strength of Alexander, he just dragged Bailey to the corner and then dragged Bailey's face across the bottom of the turnbuckle. Yeah, almost like a version of a slingshot there into the buckle. And, and that sure as hell is one way to break a hold. Shots Ooh. right to the neck once again here by Alexander. And you can you can start to see some of the exhaustion setting in for both competitors here. They Alexander, have, yeah, he's trying to pop his left Ooh. shoulder back into place, I think. They have 
absolutely destroyed each other so far. This match is heading back to Access TV. And we are back here on Impact Wrestling on Access TV. This Ooh. war continues for the Impact World Championship. An open challenge answered not by Bully Ray, but by Speedball Mike Bailey. And you can see the wear and tear on the face of Josh Alexander. Yeah. The champion has had a fight on his hands. Uh, you see the nose. I mean, it doesn't look too bad right now, but obviously he's been impacted. A little bit of blood trickling out of the nose of the champion. And you see the pain radiating off the left arm of Josh Alexander. Ooh. Well, I was trying to set up for the C4 spike there, Ray Walt, but couldn't exactly get Bailey up due to the damage that Bailey has, has caused in his left shoulder. And you had, that's exactly what Mike Bailey was aiming to do as he worked on that shoulder, as he worked on that arm. Eliminate the C4 spike. Eliminate the ankle lock. Right, goes back to the left arm, and now look at Bailey go. Kick right to the ribs and I think make contact with the arm again as well. Off the ropes. Oh, caught out of midair with a forearm shiver. And that was with the right arm, the good arm of Josh Alexander. Use what she got left during the break. We also saw Josh Alexander. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Once again, went for the C4 spike and turned around by oh. Bailey. Shoulders down. No. Oh. Now Alexander recover. Bailey able to kick out. Speedball with a big kick. Big rally here from Speedball. Oh, manages to land on his feet, huge. But for the knees, oh, and instead a barefoot kick right to the face. Oh! That was got those all the rotation feet. there. Oh, you got this, could be looking for that ultimate weapon. Can he get it? No! Oh, Alexander able to duck out of the way. Uh-oh, I caught. Oh, oh what a God. breaker! And now can he hit it? Can he hit it? Oh, uh, left of the C4 spike, but again, the damaged left arm. Enough has been done that it prevented, prevented Alexander from hitting it, but I think Bailey's hurt. I mean, at this point in this matchup, both men are undoubtedly hurt. They are absolutely just melting down with pain, but this is what makes, this is what tests the metal of pro wrestlers. This is what professional wrestling is all about, and these are two of the best in the middle of the ring right now, fighting through every inch of pain in their bodies. Bailey reaching out there at his right hand. Now once again going for the C4 spike, but Bailey has had an answer oh every God. single time. Alexander and Bailey to the outside. What a crash. Watch this one more time. Again went for the C4 spike. Bailey doing enough with his body weight oh. to make it difficult for Alexander and the two tumble to the floor. I mean, how many times now has Alexander attempted to go for that C4 spike only to have it either counter or that arm just give out? He is gonna have to find some life or find an alternative method to put this match away. Count of five from the official. Both men have to the count of 10 to get back into the ring. Title cannot change hands via count out or disqualification. Bailey ducks inside. Alexander amongst the ropes. That breaks up the 10 count. And let's not forget the significance of this match Ooh. for Mike Bailey. He said last week he still has his eyes on gold here in Impact after losing the Exhibition Championship. He's clearly laser focused. Oh. He has been on his absolute A game in this matchup so far, taking it to the world champion. And I mean, we gotta take a look at this one more time. The moonsault all the way to the outside, leveling the walking weapon. Absolute beautiful athleticism from the challenger. And now Bailey is going back to the turnbuckles. A man who debuted at the Hard to Kill pay-per-view earlier this year was unable to compete in the United States for Ooh. five long years, finally getting his chance here in the States in Impact Wrestling. He, in fact, signed his contract that was offered by Scott Demore on the back of Josh Alexander at an event where the two had a fantastic match. For it to come full circle like this, this is what Bailey's been driving at for years. And I mean, it's hard oh. to argue two wrestlers who have had a better 2022 than Speedball Mike Bailey and Josh Alexander. So how appropriate, at the, towards the end of this year, oh. we see this incredible contest between two of the best Impact Wrestling has. 
What a scene here at Old Forces Paris Town Hall in Louisville, Kentucky. Josh Alexander defending his Impact World Championship and an open challenge that was answered not by Bully Ray, but instead by Speedball Mike Bailey. And what a matchup it has been. I mean, Josh Alexander took some time away, obviously, to deal with the, the emotional trauma, but also the physical ramifications of overdrive, but now uh -oh. feeling even more as, oh! oh! The ankle lock here by Alexander on Bailey! Managing to fight through the pain in his arm to lock in the ankle lock. Oh! Uh, utilizing the headgear there to control Alexander for a moment, but shut down by the standard of Impact Wrestling. I mean, at this point in the matchup, again, take any advantage you can get. And you can already see how much these two are willing to put into this matchup. Some of the frustration, some of the pain all over the face of Josh Alexander as he defends his title against Mike Bailey tonight here on Impact Wrestling. Well, I mean, we, we know the gas tank of the Impact World Champion who, who kind of made his name in the X Division. We, let us forget that incredible Iron Man match with TJP that kind of put Josh Alexander on the map. Meanwhile, Mike oh. Bailey, who I've seen all across this country and around the world compete in similar style of matchups, now getting a chance to do it on the main stage here, the main event here of Impact Wrestling. And look at Alexander Ooh. and Bailey go. All this for the Impact World Championship. Oh! Kick to the face by Bailey. Ooh. Oh my God! And Got enough of that kick, and down goes Alexander. And, and Alexander over there was revving up, looking to take the head off of Bailey, who cut him off at the pass with that kick. My God. Now look where Josh Alexander is on the apron there. Ooh. Oh, there for another pump strike. Pump kick. Now, oh my God, look at this. Alexander, the damage to the left arm. Oh, oh God. Bring Bailey on the hardest. Alexander fighting through the pain in his left arm to grab Bailey and slam him down, bouncing off the apron. Heavy oh. impact. The world championship is at stake. Alexander versus Bailey rolls on. The action continues here. Both Alexander and Bailey outside the ring in this Impact World title match. And it was moments ago you saw how Bailey was just driven into the apron. Alexander's left shoulder, his left arm was giving out. So Alexander got creative and just dumped Bailey on the apron. And, and Bailey now is just barely starting to stir here. It's just been almost lifeless ever since that slam on the apron. Now Alexander rolls inside the ring. That'll reset the 10 count. And you can see the champion wanting to make an example of Bailey. And wants to, wants to prove a point here. And I, I was just going to say, oh, God. I know so many other athletes, and I quite, I don't care what anybody says. I wouldn't blame him. At this point, in this brutal of a matchup, he easily could have rolled in and taken that count-out victory, retained his championship, looked ahead to Bully Ray. But Josh Alexander is a pure competitor, and like you said, wants to prove a point to the world and to Mike Bailey on what kind of champion he is. Look at this bevy of strikes. Alexander oh, once God. again using the apron. Almost like a standing brain buster right on the apron. There's a cutter. Shoulders down and a kick out. This world title match continues. And you saw there Bailey's almost self-defense mechanism after that brain buster was just to try to roll away, avoid a cover. Not sure what he had left, but managing to stay in this one. Now Bailey back up to his feet oh, and driven down hard. 
hard once again by Josh Alexander. And Tom, I, I want to point out a little really small thing here. You saw the way normally in a situation like that, Alexander might Irish whip, grab him by the arm and throw him into the ropes. He did not want to use his left arm to do so, so he merely got behind Bailey and shoved him to the ropes to do what he wanted to do. That shows the wear and tear that is absolutely just obliterating the arm of Josh Alexander at this point in the matchup. Valuable moments here for Josh Alexander to get his win back, so to speak. And that was tying up the left arm of Mike Bailey. Ooh, not on the left, but now the right arm as well. The hand, the fingers, small joint manipulation here. Oh! Ah, there was a point earlier on in the matchup where you could hear some screams of pain from Mike Bailey, in particular, who's grabbing at that right hand. Any opening that Josh oh. Alexander or Bailey can get, they're going to take it here in this Impact World Title match. You know, trying to break free one finger at a time is Speedball. And manages to wiggle free of the walking weapon. Kicks to the hamstring here. Oh, oh wait a minute. Oh, look at the run from Josh Alexander. An absolutely explosive body slam, but then immediately you see the way Josh Alexander crumbled back down to the floor. The power of those kicks from Bailey clearly setting in. At this point in the match, everything hurts for both men. You could just feel the exhaustion, the pain radiating off of both these competitors. Now Alexander whipping Bailey across the ring. Still feeling some pain in the left shoulder. A big forearm shot there. We're heading back to Access TV as this world title match rolls on. Oh, and we're back here at Impact Wrestling on Access TV. This matchup for the Impact World Championship continues, and Ray Walt, these two have been battling for well over 30 minutes at this point. And it, it, it's such a strange thing, because part of this, you can tell, you look at the pain, the agony on their faces, radiating from their bodies, but at the same time, the level at which they are competing is absolutely unreal. Oh. This deep into the matchup. Bailey in the black and gold, Alexander in the two-tone blue and red. And Bailey continues to go after the injured left shoulder of Josh Alexander. Now Bailey going to the top turnbuckle to meet Alexander. Looking for her and can oh. run it here. No, 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 no. No way. Is Alexander looking? Ooh. Oh. Might have been looking for a Styles Clash off the second rope there. Oh! Kick to the side of the head by Bailey. Alexander in a very dangerous part of the ring. You see Alexander almost just slump over. Might have been half out on his oh, wait a minute, feet there. Wait a minute. Bailey, Bailey looked like for a second there, Ray Walt, he's trying to set up for the Flamingo Driver, which we've seen him use. That's right, we've seen him finish matches with that. That could have led him to the championship, but now Alexander. Uh -oh. Oh! Oh! Sending Bailey for a ride to retain the Impact World title and a shoulder oh! open. Alexander goes to and the ankle. immediately rolling into the ankle lock right after that almost UFO like slam. And now, fighting through the pain, the walking weapon snatching the ankle of Speedball Mike Bailey. Now Bailey, oh. on shoulders down on the champion kick out by Alexander. Bailey. Alexander rushes in, Bailey keeps him at bay. Oh. Is it time, Ultima oh. Weapon? He got him, this is gonna be it for the championship, but look at the pain. Mike Bailey grabbing at his left knee. Watch this one more time. The kick here in the corner, set up for it. Tried to go for this earlier on in the matchup. Finally got the ultimate weapon. 
but the collective damage that both these men have absorbed at this point in the matchup, preventing Bailey specifically from capitalizing. He could have won the title there, potentially. And this is where Josh Alexander, we saw some of those gnarly strikes and attacks to the leg of Mike Bailey earlier on, paying dividends big time in that situation right there. Alexander's title reign continues. He's been champion for 229 days, the second longest impact world title reign of all time. Josh Alexander putting himself in the hallway of history here in Impact Wrestling. And I mean, with this performance, both Speedball, Mike Bailey, and Josh oh. Alexander are adding their names to some of the best matchups we've ever had here in the Impact Zone. This has been incredible. Damage to the left knee here of Bailey, his plant leg. That's something to keep an eye on. That can be even more deadly than an injury to your striking leg. If you can't get any base and power behind those strikes, it can be extremely difficult down the stretch. And again, goes for this kick as Raywalt. These two have now been competing for over 35 minutes. And you see Bailey there, I mean, clearly willing to fight through the pain to plant his leg and kick the champion. That's how much walking out of the impact zone with world championship gold means to speedball. Oh, kick to the chest. And now Bailey with the double knees, but again, the injury to the left knee of Bailey coming into play. I mean, part of it's got to be instincts, part of it's got to be just what he's willing to do to win the gold. Yeah. Yeah. The big strike to the head. Yeah. Alexander ducking these. How many can he duck? Not enough of them. Bailey able to wait out the champ. Oh! Strike to the left arm, the damaged left arm and shoulder of Alexander. Oh my God. And look at the way the champ is reeling. Josh Alexander is really feeling the effects. I mean, both guys are, zero doubt about that. Come on. Oh. Alexander once again going for that cavalcade of strikes. Oh, look at the German suplex. The strength, the grit of the world champion just heaving speedball, Mike Bailey into the air, that's two. High on the neck, high on the shoulders. And we know the pain in the arm of Josh Alexander right now as well, but he's still fighting through to level this damage onto Mike Bailey. And now look at Bailey doing anything. He was trying to reach for the ropes, but there's nowhere to go. Caught in the clutches of the walking weapon. And it's also the exhaustion oh. of this. Ooh, using the head, just pummeling that headgear into the spine of Mike Bailey. My count is correct. I believe that that was number five in a string of German suplexes. And Bailey trying to make sure they stop, and there's number six. Bailey slowly fading here, trying to fight off the walking weapon, but to no avail as this train keeps on rolling. I, I just cannot believe how long these two have been fighting for what began as an open challenge. Alexander wanted to defend his title tonight against Bully Ray after the events of Overdrive, but instead it was Bailey who responded. Wait, wait, wait. Bully Ray not here tonight. I look at the classic that is played out in front of us. Oh my God. Oh, went for the knees. The damage to the knees. Oh, Alexander to the spine with a crossbody. And that's what makes Alexander the champion that he is. Saw the opening that Speedball gave him after missing that moonsault with the knees and took it. But now, both guys laid out here on the floor. The count is beginning. All right, well, the referee out here obviously checking on both competitors. First and foremost, their health and, and safety, obviously, is in foremost. Uh, these two have been wrestling for close to 40 minutes, so you can understand the official Ooh. being out here. He's trying to get the two of them in the ring, trying to get a decision, obviously, in this matchup for the Impact World Championship. Of course. But these two, the, the, the fight 
is just spilling oh. everywhere. Listen, Josh Alexander, he had the support of Scott Tamore to be oh. out here tonight, to put out the challenge that he did to Bully Ray, to put out an open challenge so you can understand the official and Impact Wrestling allowing this match to continue. The official trying to get Alexander and Bailey to get back into the ring. But, uh, but clearly, the walking weapon has other designs here at the top of the ramp. Oh my God. Look at you, there's no way. Oh my God, not, not, oh my God, go for a C4 spike up on the stage. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh my God, wait, no, wait Bailey. No way. Oh, Bailey, Bailey with the knees to the ribs. The Impact World Champion Josh Alexander is in trouble. Bailey with a damaged knee. This matchup somehow continues. We are continuing our coverage here. This match has spilled out onto the stage. The official is all over Alexander and Bailey. He has been for the last few moments trying to get them back into the ring. He had abstained from applying his normal 10 count because of the, the, the mounting injuries between Alexander and Bailey. These two have to get back into the ring. But how much damage has been done out here? Oh, oh God. Oh. Bailey couldn't even stand up. Both these men are trying to answer the 10 count from the official. You're just simply count trying to walk back to the ring is proving an arduous chore. Count of seven. Count of eight. Alexander trying to prevent Bailey. And both men get into the ropes and beat the 10 count. Just barely. And for a moment, just a moment there, maybe it oh, oh. looked like Josh Alexander to put this one away, might have taken the 10 count. That's how much this has affected the walking weapon. That's how much he's put into this. That's how much exhaustion, pain he's feeling. Uh, knowing Josh Alexander, I don't know if he was prepared to accept the 10 count. I think he was trying to slingshot his own body into the ring using the gear of Bailey because he knew his own limbs weren't gonna get him there in that's, time. That's absolutely possible. That's it's like trying to beat your brother in a foot race so you pull him backwards so that you can go forwards. Sure, absolutely. Do whatever you can to stay in, to hang on in a matchup that has pushed both these guys' bodies to the absolute limit so far. It's been absolutely incredible. Over 41 minutes that these two have been wrestling. And what's it gonna take after everything that's already been dropped in this matchup? What, what is it gonna be? What, what I can only imagine what that finishing blow is gonna be at the end of all of this. Alexander just trying to calm things down, trying to slow things down after what happened on the stage a moment ago. Obviously, this match has, to a degree, gotten out of control. But somehow, some way, these guys are staying in it. This is how much the Impact World Championship means to both competitors. Oh, oh. Oh, and look at this. He's grabbing at the toes Ooh. of Bailey, the exposed feet of Bailey. An issue here for Speedball. And we saw oh. earlier. Josh Alexander, the small joint manipulation on the hands, the fingers, and now, now, the toes are no different. Oh my God! And a huge strike there by Alexander. Bailey there was look, looking to work on the arms some more. Josh Alexander relying on, on the strength advantage she has in this one, the power just leveling Bailey with his right, his good arm. And just look, look at the sweat dripping off of Josh Alexander. A little totem of just how long this matchup is going on, the work, the effort that both these guys have put in so far. Oh. Oh. Shots back and forth by Alexander Bailey. Bailey not backing down. 
and both men back up to their feet. Where are they getting this from? And more strikes to the damaged left shoulder. A slugfest here between two incredible wrestlers. Elbow right to the jaw. Bailey, ooh, oh, caught amongst the ropes. Leveled on the apron there, courtesy of the walking weapon. Bailey on the outside of the ropes, the Impact World Championship at stake. Alexander defending, we're heading back to Access TV for more. This matchup has been a classic. The Impact World Championship on the line. Josh Alexander defending against Speedball Mike Bailey, a matchup that is approaching nearly 45 minutes in length. And now, in the high rent district here, dangerous territory. Speedball fighting for his championship life here. Oh! Oh, the left shoulder! Bailey going after the left shoulder with a double wrist lock there. Ooh. Oh! And that's it. Headbutt that. straight to the face. That's the arm that Bailey's been targeting this whole time. Oh, but wait a minute! Oh. The ankle lock, Bailey on the top rope. What a counter by Josh Alexander. Alexander with the Olympic slam. Alexander into the cover, shoulders down, and a kick out by the challenger. Now we do want to let you know that our anticipated and scheduled main event for later on tonight, Eddie Edwards versus Delirious. That match has been moved to next week due to the time of this current matchup between Josh Alexander and Mike Bailey nearing its one hour time limit. We are going to stay with this matchup until a decision is reached here on Access TV. And we do want to let you know that immediately following Impact, it's New Japan Pro Wrestling and we will show you in its entirety FTR's defense of the IWGP World Tag Team title against Great Ocon and Jeff Cobb. Alexander missing on the moonsault. My God. I mean, you talk about the hour time limit. That, that's something, especially us as wrestlers, having been in this business, we, we know about it. It's talked about in, in many promotions across the world. Rarely is it ever needed to be enforced or, or used or even addressed because the matches usually don't go this far. This is how much these guys are willing to put in. This is how much hard work, effort, dedication both wrestlers have to becoming or retaining the world championship. And think about how Josh Alexander's night began. He came here this evening trying to get Bully Ray in the ring. Oh, the Olympic slam on the top to hold on to the world title. Again, Ray, well, I have to come back to it. We didn't expect Josh Alexander to be back here in Impact Wrestling for a number of weeks after what happened at Overdrive. Last week, Bully Ray said we wouldn't see him till hard to kill. Then the news broke, Alexander would be here, live in the Impact Zone. Alexander got the blessing of Scott Demore to come out here and do what he thought was getting Bully Ray out to challenge for the Impact World Championship and an open challenge. Bully Ray not here. Bully Ray is gonna get his shot with his call your shot opportunity at the hard to kill pay-per-view for the Impact World title. Instead, Speedball Mike Bailey comes out here. Is there any part of Josh Alexander that ever expected to be out here defending his title against Bailey for nearly 50 minutes? Uh, I, I can't imagine that it was on the mind of the walking weapon. He came out here with one solitary focus, laser focus on dealing with Bully Ray, but Bully Ray's loss is our gain for yes. this absolutely incredible championship matchup. And you can see Alexander trying to get Bailey upright so he can inflict more damage. This I mean, match now 48 minutes in length. I mean, not just the, the damage to the arm and, and trying to pick up another human being, as oh, you see there God. from Josh Alexander, but just the exhaustion of, of, of approaching 50 minutes of in-ring action. Yeah. Alexander trying to get Bailey up. Uh, I mean, and Tom, I can tell you, I, I've wrestled 20 minutes. I, I've wrestled nearly 30 minutes in matches before. I've never approached an hour. That's that's one thing I never came across in my career. But based on what I have, oh my God, I can only imagine what these two are going through right now.
And a reminder, thanks to our partners at Access TV, if needed, we'll continue with this impactful title match past the top of the hour. Just a reminder, all our viewers on Access TV, immediately following Impact Wrestling, it'll be New Japan Pro Wrestling, FTR defending the Ooh. IWGP World Tag Team titles against Great Okan and Jeff Cobb. That will be following this. Down goes Alexander. Could it be? Oh. And, and you just see the way Alexander indeed did get the shoulder up, but it was not with the gusto it was 40, 45 minutes ago, 50 minutes ago. As you see the frustration, the agony on Mike Bailey's face, who's wondering just what he has to do to put Josh Alexander away. And Speedball told our broadcast partner, Gia Miller, last week that I, I, I'm here to win gold in Impact Wrestling, a former X Division champion. He saw a magnificent opportunity tonight with Bully Ray not being in attendance. Ladies and Louisville. gentlemen, there are 10 minutes left in the time limit. Oh, my God. Well, there, there you hear it officially. We, we are approaching that hour mark, that hour time limit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Alexander trying to end it here after 50 minutes. The ankle lock. He's got it tied in, fighting through the pain in his left arm, rolling through, not trying to not let Bailey counter this. Not again. All right, look at this. Repeated kicks to the side of the head. Alexander holding on to the ankle. The rolling, ankle lock. Rolling through, not letting go. Bailey knows this could be the end. He's desperate to get out of this ankle lock. And now Bailey, Bailey trying to get to the bottom rope, trying to get away from Josh Alexander. Reaching, crawling. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, the pile driver to retain. Bailey will die. And once again, right back into that ankle lock. You saw it was Bailey trying to press up almost into a handstand, relieve some of the, the extension, the pressure on the ankle lock, but that only allowed Josh Alexander to hit that pile driver. And now here we are, right back to square one for Mike Bailey. Bailey caught in the clutches oh. of the walking weapon. Can he get to the bottom rope and break up this submission attempt? He's craw crawling, grasping, desperate for that rope. But look at Josh Alexander just leveling these kicks to the arm. And now look at this kicks to the damaged left shoulder of Alexander. Finally breaks free. Oh, and once got not stopping. Uh -oh. oh! Attacking the left leg. This has withstood a ton of punishment throughout this matchup. And, and again to the ankle lock. Oh, right Quick back to it. Leg. Falls in and you hear the screams of agony from Mike Bailey locked in the center of the ring. Championship on the line. And Bailey, is he going to tap? Is he going to submit to the world champion? Oh, you see Josh Alexander just wrenching on that left ankle. Look at Speedball. Any little bit of life he has left, using it to crawl. Oh, is Bailey gonna tap? Is Bailey gonna tap? Alexander leaning back. Look at him just wrenching, twisting. The hand going up, going down, but not tapping the mat. Not yet for Speedball. All right, Bailey desperately trying to get to the bottom rope. Oh. He has to. His only and escape, does. and he's there. He's there after what felt like an eternity. And now, if you're Josh Alexander, you see just how much Mike Bailey is willing to do, how much pain and agony he's willing to go through. You're back to the drawing board on what you've got to do to end this. How much does Bailey have left after that exchange? How much does Josh Alexander have left? An instant classic here for the Impact World Championship that we didn't even think we would see. Forgive me, Tom, I, I find it a little funny. You're calling it an instant classic for a matchup that's approaching an hour, the exact opposite of an instant. This thing has been 
and a marathon, but a marathon of incredible action here. Whoever wins this absolutely deserves oh. everything that they will leave with here tonight. And don't forget, immediately following Impact Wrestling, it's New Japan Pro Wrestling. We will show you the entirety of FTR's IWGP Tag Team title defense against Great Okan and Jeff Cobb. And that decision could be coming sooner than we think as Alexander here climbing to the second ah. rope. And that was a nasty fall for Bailey. He man managed to wiggle free there, but crashed right onto that leg, that injured leg that's been worked on all match long. Uh, and I look at Bailey trying to drag himself. Jumping, hop, oh. hopping up with one oh. leg there, immediately swatted down by the world champion. And, and Bailey knows he's got Alexander in a prone situation here, in a vulnerable situation on the top. 55 minutes are gone, five minutes remain. Oh my God, five minutes left here in this Impact World title match. And with that announcement going over the loudspeakers here, over the microphone, you know it's just gonna turn up the intensity to both these guys. Whatever they have oh. left in their gas tank, it's all gotta come out now. Alexander, I, I don't think he can believe his eyes. Every single time he thinks he has Bailey down, Speedball gets back up. Like a monster rising from the deep, Speedball will not stop, but neither will the walking weapon, I'll tell you that much. Oh, God. And look at Bailey. Oh, my God. Face to face, oh nose 56 to nose. 56 minutes are gone, four minutes remain. Oh my God. Bailey, oh, the oh top God. down goes Alexander. And now, Alexander in a prone position. Look at Bailey climbing. Look at him climbing. Could he be getting towards championship gold? This could be it. He hit ultimate weapon earlier on in the match, but couldn't capitalize. Can he do it this oh time? Oh my God, he got it. Got it. Ultimate weapon. Champion. up the pin. Look at the expression on Mike Bailey's face. It's the one on mine as well. Take a look at this. He finally hits it again, the ultimate weapon. He has the walking weapon dead to right, but just in the nick of time, the wherewithal of the champion pulling through. Three minutes remain. Three minutes left in this Impact World title match. We're gonna stay with it until its conclusion here on Access TV. And again, back to the left shoulder. Trying to go back to what's been working so far, but less than 180 seconds remain in this contest. And this is desperation for Mike Bailey. He got three minutes left to make your dreams come true, to become the Impact World Champion. Yeah, it's time to hit that knockout shot. It's time to hit the finishing blow. Anything you have left, every ounce of strength, energy, fortitude. Alexander, straight shots to the face of Bailey. Oh, and a Ooh. big kick. Well, wait a minute now, Bailey. Bailey, he went for the Flamingo driver early on in the matchup, but he couldn't hook it. Can he hit it now? He's got, no, 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 no. Oh, and a cover, shoulders down, no. Alexander now was looking for this earlier too. Got Stars it this time. Clash. And right and back, right two back minutes to it. Remain. This two is minutes. the playbook all match long for nearly an hour for Josh Alexander. Will it finally get the job done in the closing seconds of this world title matchup? The styles clash into the ankle lock. Can Bailey hang on? How much can one body take? We are finding out the answer to that question here tonight. I learned this kicks to the shoulder, oh. kicks to the damage left shoulder, trying to twist at the ankle. And Bailey does get to the bottom rope. Alexander not letting go though. Ooh. And now Bailey, Bailey doing anything he can to keep Alexander at bay, still holding on to the ropes. Oh, oh good my God! God. 
Just ripped Bailey away from the ropes and had a pile driver. Absolutely planted. One minute Mike remains Bailey. in this match, 60 seconds. The final minute here. Trying to get Bailey up for the C4 spike, has struggled to do so throughout this matchup due to the injured left shoulder. And now just pummeling Speedball, wants to make sure this one counts. Oh, no, trying to 20 seconds it. remain. Oh, oh, C4 spike! Got him! But A matter of seconds left in this matchup. Whoa, wait, but oh. Alexander's not done. No, he wants to make an exclamation point here. Prove a point. This has been an hour coming. 20 seconds remain. 20 seconds. Oh. Another C4 spike. Alexander the cover. Alexander retains. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match is still Impact World Champion, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. A match none of us ever saw coming. The Iron Man Josh Alexander lives up to his nickname, but oh. heads off to speedball Mike Bailey. What a performance. I mean, just take a look at some of these highlights here from this absolutely incredible oh. match. Hard to believe some of these, these sequences, these moves, all it was 30, 40 minutes ago, and they fought through all of it. Numerous times we thought this one was over. We were convinced we maybe had a new champion that Josh Alexander had received. German suplexes, ultimate weapons, this incredible action never seemed to cease. And in this, the second C4 spike, Alexander making sure he put down Bailey. Hats off to Mike Bailey and hats off to Josh Alexander, who can now refocus on Bully Ray and hard to kill. A big thank you to all of our partners at Access TV for allowing us to enjoy this magnificent match. Right now, we send you to New Japan Pro Wrestling here on Access TV to see in its entirety FTR defending the IWGP World Tag Team titles against Great Khan and Jeff Cobb. And we are moments removed from a stellar matchup, one for the ages here at Impact Wrestling, a surefire match of the year candidate here at Impact in 2022. And you look at the face of Speedball Mike Bailey, an absolutely astounding effort this evening against the walking weapon. I mean, and you see there, Josh Alexander, even though he's victorious, almost just collapsing into the corner. This matchup finishing just 20 seconds shy of 60 minutes. I mean, you, you talk about this being a match of the year, Kenneth. This could go down as one of the great matches in the history of Impact Wrestling. No doubt about it. Speed on Mike Bailey said last week that he had his eyes on gold here in Impact after losing the X Division Championship. He took advantage of something that Bully Ray did not, an open challenge for the Impact World title. I said it during the broadcast, Ray Wolf. No part of Josh Alexander could have ever expected this to have unfolded tonight here in the Impact Zone. But well, what a match it was. Uh, well, none of us, none of us, I don't think, could have ever expected this. But as a hand is extended, a sign of respect for a battle well fought. That shows just what that championship means to not only these two men, but everybody who competes here in Impact Wrestling. A great sign of sportsmanship and respect between Bailey and Alexander. Thank you all so much for joining us across our digital platforms at Access TV. And nights to remember here at Impact Wrestling.